Some church members opine that emergency plans and supplies, food storage, and 72-hour kits must not be important anymore because the brethren have not spoken recently and extensively about these and related topics in general conference. But repeated admonitions to prepare have been proclaimed by leaders of the church for decades. The consistency of prophetic counsel over time creates a powerful concert of clarity and a warning volume far louder than solo performances can ever produce. Just as challenging times reveal inadequacies in a temporal preparedness, so too the maladies of spiritual casualness and complacency inflict their most detrimental effects during difficult times. We learn, for example, in the parable of the ten virgins that procrastinating preparation leads to unsuccessful proving. Recall how the five foolish virgins failed to prepare appropriately for the examination given to them on the day of the bridegroom's coming. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, ye know me not. At least on this exam, the five foolish virgins proved themselves to be hearers only and not doers of the word. I invite each of us to consider our ways and examine ourselves, whether we be in the faith and prove our own selves. What have we learned during these recent months of lifestyle adjustments and restrictions? What do we need to improve in our lives spiritually, physically, socially, emotionally, and intellectually? Now is the time to prepare and prove ourselves willing and able to do all things whatsoever the Lord our God shall command us. Faithfulness is not foolishness or fanaticism. Rather, it is trusting and placing our confidence in Jesus Christ as our Savior, on His name, and in His promises. As we press forward with a steadfastness in Christ, having a perfect brightness of hope, and the love of God and of all men, we are blessed with an eternal perspective and vision that stretches far beyond our limited mortal capacity. We will be enabled to gather together and stand in holy places and be not moved until the day of the Lord come. The process of proving ourselves is a fundamental part of Heavenly Father's great plan of happiness. I promise that as we both prepare and press forward with faith in the Savior, we all can receive the same grade on the ultimate examination of mortality. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. I witness that God the Eternal Father is our Father. Jesus Christ is His only begotten and living Son, our Savior and Redeemer. Of these truths I joyfully testify in the sacred name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.